Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am finally starting a new junk journal project and um, the inspiration for the journal came from Natalie at line.arrow. In one of her videos she made a junk journal from a tissue box and I liked it so much that I saved one of my tissue boxes uh, that I have been using down here in my craft room, you know, I always have a stuffy nose. <laughs> um, it's not this one, it's just, um, this is still whole. Um, but I trimmed, trimmed, I just cut down the empty one. So, and I am going to use my lovely roses, or letter, not letter. Did I just read letter? Oh, letters. Um, roses and flowers papers. Um, I'll call it a rose themed journal because I have lots of rose images. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this because this doesn't really go with the paper. However, um, yay! I'm excited to try this. So what I did, I just took the box apart and I cut it down to this. However, this spine is ginormous. I'm not going to use this as a spine. It's like three and a half inches, which is way too big. So I think I'm going to trim it down to two inches. That's still enough. And I'm just going to score this again and then fold it over and then cut a piece off here. And then uh, for this opening, wow, it's dusty. I'm going to remove this plastic and I'm going to cover it either with acetate. I have to see if my acetate sheets are big enough. If not, I'm just going to use some packaging or whatever clear stuff I can find and um, that will be the cover so and then on the inside on the inside cover there can be a beautiful image that's that you can see when the journal is closed so I am very excited um, I'm gonna say hi to Natalie um, thanks for the inspiration and I hope you don't mind that I make one of those because I thought that was a brilliant idea and I go through so many tissue boxes however a whole like most of my tissue boxes aren't the ones that have this hole up here they're like open to the side so i that's why i saved this one i think this is just the walmart brand and i think they also have um smaller ones that are not this fat um yeah so that's what i'm going to do now so let's get all this out of the way and the first thing oh hold on <sighs> gotta move my heater the first thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> adjust the spine to two inches let's see yeah i think two inches is plenty so i can put three signatures in i think and they're gonna be like narrow but i'm gonna make this a, like a chunk of it's gonna be fat <laughs> um so because you don't have like wide pages to write on you have long pages but i think it's gonna be fine shouldn't shouldn't be uh, bad okay so where's my scoreboard right here all right. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to line this up all the way to the edge right here so I can actually measure the two inches. Two inches. Okay. And then I'm going to have to, because this is like an inch and a half, so I'm going to trim an inch and a half of, up, ugh, off on the other end so oops no this is my spine which is still a good good spine size or width and now we can use my trimmer to cut this off oh this way okay it's always exciting to start a new journal because you like it's totally different what you did pre well, at least for me what i did previously and um I <clears throat> can use new ideas. Okay, so I think this is actually an inch and a half over here. Let's see. Yep, inch and a half. So I'll just line this up here. And that should do the trick. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, I have to use this tissue box and transfer my tissues. Yep, perfect. Ha! 
and I can use this as a bookmark or a belly band or something. All right, so I am going to, and I'm not too concerned about this fold right here because I'm going to cover the front and the inside, outside and inside with paper, so this should hold up fine. I am going to figure out what I'm going to put on the outside <clears throat> and which one I'm going to, which of my papers are going to go on the inside. <clears throat> so just let me see how tall this actually is. So this is... Okay, I think I'm going to trim it to eight and a half. Because <coughs> right now it's not even like it's like eight and three quarters or something. And then it's four and a half. Yeah, so if it's eight and a half by four and a half, that should be fine. So let's cut a little bit on the top and the bottom. Let's see. I want to make sure I trim this about the same amount. That says it's nine. No, it's not. So let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go here, I think. And then the same on the other side. Should go to eight and a half. Yep, that should work. All right. I've been wanting to make this for quite a while. I just never got around to it. And like, I just saw the box sitting there on my shelf, like now or never. So here we go. Lovely. Okay, so now it's a little more than four and a half by eight and a half. And I love that this has this big, big opening. Okay, oh, isn't this beautiful? This is um, Letters and Flowers by Stemperia, and this is the flower alphabet by Stemperia. And it's so pretty. Ooh, these will be great, great size to put in here. Lovely tags, that's pretty. Cards. Ooh, on the wrong side. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it's gonna be cut off too like a, I'm gonna cut off too much. Mm, maybe not from this one, I guess. It would be nice if there was like a paper that had well maybe maybe this one. This could be a contender. So let's keep this in mind. And go to the next one. Oh, that has cute birdies. Oh, that's beautiful. So maybe I'm not gonna do Roses, I might just do um, florals, like spring, yeah, spring journal. Okay, I love this because this would go like right, right here. So that's perfect. Lovely. Oh, are these beautiful? I've had, oh, that's also beautiful. I've had this um, paper for quite a while and I never knew what I was going to use it for, but now I do. Okay, I think. Oh, that's beautiful too. And I think I'm going to go with the pink. Yeah. Pink it is. I love this. And then when I cut this up, there's still some paper left up here. And then we have a little nest over here, so that's perfect. <coughs> Okay, and this is pretty thick paper, so I might use, I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And what I'm going to do is I have to line this up like this, and then I'm going to trim. I think I might cut this out when I already have the paper glued onto that. And I'm <clears throat> sorry, I'm also glad that I trimmed this because this way it actually fits on the entire um, 12 by 12 paper. All right, so should I cut this out first? But then what if I cannot line it up? I think I'm going to just... First of all, I got to make this straight. These are not even straight. 
Yeah. Oof, not straight at all. <laughs> now, we are straight. <clears throat> I think the rest is all, yeah, straight. Okay, so let's just, oh no, I was gonna put the um, acetate on the, the one in the front or on the back. I think I'm gonna sandwich the acetate in here. So I will have to find my acetate. All right, so my acetate sheets are not big enough. However, I found um, this packaging from Christmas cards from this past Christmas. And the Christmas cards were really glittery, so I'm using a Swiffer wipe to get the glitter out. So it doesn't end, well. Okay, never mind. I already have glitter on my project. <sighs> okay, so these are really great if you have like a glitter accident on your desk because they, uh, the glitter sticks to those. Okay, so that's the perfect size. I'm gonna use this side. That, okay, I just realized if I glue this in here, I won't be able to cut out this, so I will have to cut it out first. Bummer. Okay, let's see. So that's pretty good. I will trace this um, opening onto my scrap of paper so I know where to cut. Yep, that's right. Two. It's this way. And I think I want to fold it. No, it's too thick to fold over. Okay, so I'm gonna move it down a little bit so I have more of those. I'm just holding it up to the light right now so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go about here. Because I want the flowers and the bird's nest on this side to like be not cut off and be in the right right spot. Okay, got that, and now we have to oops. This is oh I just broke my pencil. Um this is one of my least favorite things to do when I have to cut like an opening and then I have to line it up when I glue the paper on. <laughs> so we shall see. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. Let's cut this out. I'm probably gonna use my trimmer on those straight lines or edges so I don't cut crooked. Pieces. This is still beautiful. 
deep in their roots, all flowers keep the light. Interesting. I'm glad we saved that bird's nest. Okay, so now I gotta cut this piece out. Ugh. Come on. Maybe. Just gonna try this. And then I'll have to find a paper that I want to use on the inside of my journal. Inside cover. Uh oh. Ah! Not good. Ugh. It's not very round. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this... Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, um... And then I am going to... There's like these little... I can't really tell. Where you tear the that piece off. I'm just gonna trim those leftovers off make it a little more smooth. Making quite the mess here. Okay. <clears throat> And I also have to find an inside paper and trace that. Oops, that was my scoreboard. So this will be the inside. So I could use this. Well, wow, now I got glitter in my face too. Hmm. Pink. Maybe I'll just do this on the inside. It doesn't have to be like super fancy or have like a whole bunch of images on it. And I'm probably not going to use these letters anyway, so let's just go with this one.
Ugh, and I broke the blood again. Alrighty. Oh good, and I can still use this piece. And X and Y. <laughs> I probably should have cut this first because then I would have the, had the whole Z. But that's fine. And now I gotta do this again. Stab. I don't want to cut my finger. I probably should have gotten stitches on my finger because it's still hurting and when I took my bandaid off this morning it was still, um, it had been bleeding last night so not good. I think I'm gonna, oh this side, uh, distress this a little bit before I glue it on the to my box. So next weekend, I, I'm gonna have either a four day weekend or a five day weekend because uh, I'm off for President's Day and I'm taking Friday off my birthday and I'm thinking I'm gonna ask for Thursday off as well because I have to run a few errands on Friday but I want to spend like a whole day in my craft room and make videos and stuff, so maybe I'll do that on Thursday, so we shall see. Just this way, and then this one, the outside one. Oh, stay up there. Ugh, this is not straight. Think of how many things I can get done in my craft room if I have like two days home alone. <laughs> and I will not tell my family because otherwise they're gonna get sick again. <laughs> As usual. Uh. Yep. Okay. Neat. And then the outside I can distress when I after I glued on this box. Okay, so. First, I have to put, well, um, maybe I'm not going to put, maybe I'm going to put the acetate on the inside or the plastic. Yeah, I might put it on the inside. Okay, let's do this. So, now I'm going to glue. nervous because in the past when I've done this I put the glue too close to uh, the window like the opening and then it would like get really squish onto the little window and I don't want that so I'm gonna put the glue further back but on the like on the edge I'm gonna put my um, tape runner thing Let's 
put that down here. Okay, that should be good. What did I just say? I was gonna put it on this side. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, never mind, it's fine. I'm still gonna put glue on here because it's gonna go on this. Focus, focus. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see where I'm gonna put the glue. Today, I have been with my company for 10 years. It's hard to believe those 10 years went, well, they went by pretty quick, not super quick. There were times where, when I was like, ugh, I gotta get out of here, but it's a great company. It's just sometimes uh, the work can be frustrating and stressful, but all in all, it's really a great company and our CEO um, his goal is he wants the company to be the best company we've ever worked for and it is I've never worked for a better company and I love it and I love the people and um, yeah I am very fortunate to work for such a great company and that they care so much about their employees okay so now we get to line this up just making sure that <laughs> I'm not doing it wrong. See, I was gonna do it wrong. Okay, wish me luck. I can still trim this off a little bit. Ooh, no! Ugh. I should probably stop talking and just focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> uh. and now I can use my glue. some art glitter glue as well. Am I still filming? I am. That's a good thing, right? Now we have to, probably should wait. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Actually, let me first trim this a little bit better. Make this look nicer. Ooh, it's difficult.
Okay, should do it. Now comes the moment of truth. Do I know what I'm doing or not? So here I'm going to do this on the edge because I don't want my glue to like smudge the window. So are you guys watching the, or by the time you see this video, uh, I should say, have you watched the Super Bowl? Um, I usually only watch it when the Patriots play, but I probably should watch it because obviously Tom Brady with the Buccaneers, he's for the New England fans, he's still a Patriot. <laughs> um, so I hope they win. They deserve it. Okay. And now we can put glue on there. I used to make a lot of shaker cards when I made ATCs, artist trading cards. And so I have learned um not to use liquid glue too close to the edge because it's just gonna squish and then when I well I'm gonna press this down onto my uh, tape uh, double-sided tape thing and then I'm gonna um, push this out I want to spread the glue spread it away from the window so it doesn't squish out. And I hope this will dry. Okay. Oh look, we have a window! Yay! And then we're gonna glue this lovely thing on here. Oops, no, it goes this way. <laughs> okay, but first I think I'm gonna fold this first, because otherwise it's gonna be too um Too difficult to fold all three layers at once. Just like bone folder. And then I'm gonna do this. Oh, I'm, I love that these flowers line up right in that corner. And the little nest on the end. Isn't this pretty? That's totally different from what I usually make, like the format. Okay, so you guys have to stick that out. Uh, the fold, okay. Whew, nervous. I don't want to mess this up. So here I'm going to have to do the same thing with the uh, tape. Because I don't want that glue to stick a uh, smudge on my window either. Stick, stick where you belong. Okay. Whew. 
and then we have to put glue on there as well. Oh, actually, let me start with this over here. I'm so excited for this project. I don't know why. <laughs> I wasn't even like thinking about it all day. I was just, it just came to me. I'm like, oh, I should do this. And um, I was going to do a rose journal or, yeah, a rose journal. And I was going to do this. But now I'm combining it because it's going to be rose, well, flowers and the tissue box. So exciting. I've made several journals with um, covers that I made from like a rice box, a pancake mix box. That was actually my very first junk journal that I made. And, oops. So why not use a tissue box? And I'm gonna link I'm going to link um, Natalie's video down below so you can see where I got my uh, inspiration from. I can't say where I got the idea from. Well, my idea. It's not my idea. It was her idea. So, But it's an inspiration. And I think as long as you give people credit, it's fine to... Um, like do projects that they they did okay Whew. oh <laughs> yeah i don't want to glue it like this Ooh, okay wish me luck okay i might put my head in the camera i'm sorry Close. Ugh. Well, I can. There's only so much I can do. Okay. Oh yeah, thanks, um, Deborah, for um, commenting about the bone folder. You said you had a bamboo one. Interesting, I've never seen a bamboo one. I only heard about, well, I know the plastic ones, and I've heard about the, um, the Teflon one, so I'm curious. Gotta look into the bamboo one. I like bamboo. I think we did it. Doesn't look too, too shabby. Cool, awesome. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit before I fold it. And then, oh, oh, ooh, okay. I might have to trim it a little bit because this is too long over here. Let's do the trimming first. Um, and then I think in my next video, I'm gonna start with the signatures. And making stuff. Okay, so thanks so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!